What I like about teaching animal science is um, the variety of animals I get to expose the students to. Um, from, all the way from domestic animals as our pets, uh, to farm animals that people raise in agriculture, to the wild animals that, that uh, intrigue us all. We have first through sixth graders, so we have to keep it general enough um, to, so that all levels can learn something. Now you guys remember they call it an octopus because they have how many feet? Eight. 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 So let's count. One. We have two. Two. Three. Three. We have four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. 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 <laughs> He's sticking to himself. <laughs> and eight. Yes. One, but one at a time. Mr. One at a time. Do you guys want to feel the suckers? Yeah, Mr. Cole. Ew, it's quite dead. I'm going to tie it. Gel rudiment. We'll find all of his assorted little um, octopus bits and pieces. Do not push. Yeah, don't push. Why? Yes. Yes. Why? Because that part's soft. Excuse me. We don't his extra hearts? Yes. Can I? Can we go see the beak right now? Not right this minute. No. Uh -huh. We will though. We'll uh, we'll we'll start walking more. Three. 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 Okay. Maybe we'll has more than one. One of them. Has four. <laughs> now over here on the side, we've got his ears. What is that? Siphon. It's going to make her uncomfortable, and when she tries to go move around, she's not really going to want to walk her. Thank you. Oh, birthday. Go ahead and brush that side. Okay, that looks really nice, Christian. Thank you. Not a mane. This part's the mane. Uh, Thanks. Oh, she has it. What are live bear fish? Somebody from animal science. That's all he does. They adjust their mammals, kind of, and they just have the baby. baby. Yeah, they just have. Good. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you. Okay. Um, generally, if you want to start breeding guppies and having a whole bunch, you want one male and three females. Okay. If you plan on having guppies, good. Good filtration, lots of hiding places, warm temperatures, okay? Right. Little is known of the Araucanas except that they came from South America. They were first imported into the United States in the early 1930s. They are rumpless chickens and have tufts of feathers protruding from each side of their necks. There's chickens. Bouncing. Very gentle with them because they're very, very delicate. delicate. Delicate means that they could break very easily. Don't squeeze them. So don't squeeze. Do you know what you have? I okay, don't. Okay, is this one a girl? I don't know yet. I won't really know until they're older. Uh, I've got yeah, a on the line. So this one might not have So it's kind of it's tough for the chicken to break through the egg. But if you look here on the very end of their beak, see that little white thing right there? That's called an egg tooth. They use that egg tooth to crack open the shell of the egg so that they can get out. And as they get older, that egg tooth will disappear. Sometimes when animals have babies, especially if they're young or if they're first-time mothers, they don't know what to do with their babies. His mom had two babies. The first baby, she said, oh, look, that's my baby. I like this baby. And then she had a second baby, and she said, oh, that one's not mine. If I held the bottle down here and his head was down, it would tell the food to go to a different stomach where the grass needs to go. Our goal ultimately was to expose students to um, the the pets that they do have and and be be aware of how to take care of them and before getting a pet actually to understand what's going to go into it the cost the the time you know it takes to actually uh, have a pet and keep it healthy and uh, have a good companion